Hi, Madison. This is Jeff once again with Zucker Marketing. We're based out of San Antonio, Texas, and I really appreciate you for making time to talk with me earlier today. And as promised, here's your website analysis. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get more customers online. And also, I'm going to run through a couple of things that you can actually implement right now. And also, in addition to reviewing your website, we're also going to look at one of your top competitors website and show you how they're currently beating you online and what you can actually do differently to counteract that. So first, we'll start off with your website. Well, you actually have a pretty good looking website. You have your logo at the top. You have good photos, nice layout, and good amount of contents as well. So there's actually just a few things we're going to get over with first to make sure we get you on top of the search list. Well, one thing I can tell you right off the bat is that Google loves content. Google actually would like to see a minimum of 1,500 words on a homepage. And in addition to this, the more content you'll have, the better. So let's go ahead and take a look as to how many words you have on your homepage. Okay, so currently you have 1,244 words, which is actually a great number. However, we're still kind of behind with the goal of 1,500 for us to actually be considered by Google as a trustworthy website. Another thing we like to talk about are keywords. Google is also looking for keywords. It's looking for what the site should be found for. So if you have the exact words listed multiple times on your website, you're going to be really relevant for that search. And of course, Google is going to be willing to put you higher in the results. So we actually did a quick search of the fencing companies in one of the areas you're servicing. We'll talk more about the results that we have here. Let's go ahead and start off with the first one. So this is what we call the map pack. And of course, this is something where you really would like to be on since these are the ones that gets a lot of attention, a lot of traffic, and they're easier to find. And I'm actually seeing that you're ranking second on the map pack searches. One way for you to consistently be here or even be at the top of the map pack list is you'll need to add all of your company's information in as, into as many directories as possible, like on Yelp, Yellow Pages, Angie.com, and so on and so forth. Moving on to the next part, these are what we call the organic searches. So these are all the websites that actually ranks higher without people paying for any ads, just because they're doing some certain things. And that's exactly where we're going to talk about and analyze. So I pulled up one of your top competitors' website, and let's see what they have differently. For their website, they also have their logo at the top, their company's information, you also have good photos, client testimonials, and a good amount of contents as well. So let's go ahead and dig deeper with the numbers instead. So we have here Ahrefs, one of the paid tools that we're using for us to have some more information on the back end of your website. So we'll be talking more about the numbers. So let's start off with DR. So this is the level of trust that Google has in your website, and UR is the strength of your website. Backlinks, on the other hand, these are other websites that refers to your website. So they're like shoutouts from different directories like Yellow Pages, Yelp, and the like. One important thing that you need to discuss about backlinks and referring domains is that this should actually, or I mean, this needs to be a 2 to 1 ratio. So this 215 referring domains that you have, these are what we call the good or strong backlinks. And the rest of the missing backlinks, those are what we call the spammy backlinks. So let's go ahead and take a look at your competitors' numbers. You do have a much uh, stronger website and a much more trustworthy website. The reason for that is you actually have a pretty good amount of backlinks and uh, their edge or your competitors' edge is only with the keywords. So what you can actually do differently on your end is since you already have a good amount of backlinks, is you just need to increase the number of your keywords and make sure you have a much better ratio between backlinks and referring domains. That's way, uh, that way, you'll be able to end up with more traffic for sure. So let's go ahead and take a look at the keywords that they're currently using. And let's also discuss the importance of having the right keywords on your website. <clears throat> So these are all the keywords they have listed on their website. So when customers search for these specific words, their website will show on top of the list. And if you also look at the numbers under volume, these are the total number of people that actually searches for the specific keywords on Google. So that's how important is using the right keyword is. That way, more customers will be able to find your website quicker and easier. 
And another thing we like to share about keywords is what we call the hidden keyword. So for every photo that you have on your website, you can actually rename them with a hidden keyword instead. That way you'll be able to have more hidden keywords added into your website. And not only that, of course, for those keywords to not to be repetitive on your website as well. So just to wrap things up, the most important things that we can do to improve your ranking is first the amount of content where we're going to add a few more words into your homepage. That way, Google will actually consider your website a much more trustworthy website. Next would be the backlinks, where we're going to add your information to more directories as possible. That way, we can actually bring you more traffic. And of course, the higher chances of your website in appearing on top of the map pack searches. Last but not the least would be the keywords, where we're going to help you out in adding more keywords and of course, choosing the right ones. That way, more customers will be able to find your website faster and easier. So these are all the things that you can actually implement right now. Of course, we can also help you out in making these changes and more with the goal of getting you many new customers. I'm also going to be following up with you just to get some feedback about the ideas I discussed on this video. So I really do appreciate your time. You all have a wonderful day. Bye.